Where does pleural fluid come from? You know, for a very long time, we weren't exactly certain how this came about, but during breathing, the recoil of the lungs creates a negative pressure in the pleural space, especially towards the apex of the lung. And plasma filtrate is drawn by a pressure gradient from the subpleural capillaries in the chest wall, and this fluid passes through the mesothelial cells of the parietal pleura into the pleural space by what are called starling or pressure-related forces. So the volume of fluid in the pleural space is maintained in equilibrium under normal circumstances, so such that fluid inflow is proximate to fluid absorption from the pleural space. How is pleural fluid absorbed? Pleural fluid is primarily absorbed through the mesothelial cell layer of the visceral pleura. Fluid also exits the space through these microscopic unidirectional valves that are in the parietal pleura, and, and they're known as the lymphatic stoma. And these lymphatic stoma are, are really only found on the parietal pleura. The stoma stretch during inspiration and allow cells and cell debris and other particulate products through. It's been recently discovered that fluid absorption from the pleural space also occurs as a result of what's called electrolyte coupling through the mesothelial surfaces of both the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura.